Hey, we said in an earlier video that as we go down the layers that the the uh, segments or the, the chunks of data get bigger and bigger as we chunk them up. And let's take a look at why, and the reason is because of something called headers and trailers. So originally in our application presentation and session layers, we just have some data, and that's all we have. But now as we get down to the transport layer, to the segment, we begin to add these headers and so we we add a bunch of segment headers which we'll look at in just a few moments to see what those headers consist of down here at the network layer uh, not only do we have our segment headers but now we add some packet headers so this thing gets even bigger and then down here at the data link layer it gets bigger yet as we add these frame headers so this is why it keeps getting bigger and bigger as we go. By the way, notice here that we also add a trailer at the data link layer. All right, let's take a look at these in a little more detail. But before I do, one more note, the exact contents of the headers can vary a little bit with the protocol. So in other words, IP version 4 versus IP version 6 might have slightly different headers. So we have to uh, take into account as we look at these that there will be some variations depending on the protocol that we're using. All right, first let's look at that layer for the TCP segment header. So here's our data. And this is that whole header that we had in one big block here in the previous slide. But here are the actual contents of that. And the important ones here are these three here at the far left, the source port, the destination port, and the sequence number. So we will talk about ports and sequences a little bit uh, more detail later on, but this is an addressing scheme. The source port and the destination port is an address of an application. And uh, we have to say, well, what application wants this? Well, we do that using this port number. For example, uh, HTTP traffic uh, is port 80. And so the the uh, receiving application on the other side, if, it, if it's uh, addressed to port 80 on the receiving side, uh, the computer knows, oh, port 80, that's an HTTP, so I'm going to send that, say, to my browser. All right, so that's what these are. They're just simply addresses of, of applications. And then the sequence number, in other words, what sequence is this thing in? If they come, if, if, uh, uh, one of these segments gets dropped for some reason because it's corrupted or something, uh, the computer needs a way to know that. And so it just looks at a sequence number and says, oh, wait, I've got frames number, or not frame, excuse me, i got segments number 1, 2, uh, 5, 6, 7. Oh, I'm missing 3 and 4. And it has to go back and say, can you please resend me 3 and 4? So it needs those sequence numbers to do that. Here's the IP header. So for first we got our data, then we have the segment header that we just looked at. That's all of that section that we just looked at. And now we add even more data, which is why this thing gets bigger. And the important things here again are the source and destination IP addresses. So this is where the IP address is actually stuck on there. This is the one it's coming from so that the receiving device knows how to, where to send it back to when, when it's responding and then the destination IP address. So these are really the big important ones here, but we will look at flags later on as well uh, because flags are important in, in establishing the session. So we'll look at that at another, uh, another point in our course. And then finally, we would have the frame headers. And here they are. And again, the important ones are the source and destination address. And usually this is the MAC address, unless we're using some other layer to uh, type of uh, protocol, but the typical um, Ethernet protocol has the MAC uses the MAC address as the source and and uh, destination addresses in the frame. So that's the important ones here. Notice again that this also has a trailer, a frame a frame check sequence or FCS number, and that is uh, it's a mathematical formula that defines all of this stuff, the entire frame and says, hey, if if this number doesn't compute the same when it's received as it was reported to when it left, then there's something wrong with this frame and it needs to be dropped. So that's how uh, that what that frame check sequence number is about. It's the only uh, layer that actually has a trailer with it. So this, again, you don't have to memorize all of these, but you would you should know 
at least for this class, these important ones that on the, the um, layer four header has a source port destination port sequence number that the layer three has the source and destination IP addresses and then at the uh, frame level that the source and destination MAC addresses or other layer two addresses are included and that the frame check sequence is also included. So those are the important ones that you should know for each one of these.